process by which the blade is given a durable and long-lasting edge. The heat treating method I use for my blades consists of three main steps. Normalizing, hardening, and tempering. The normalizing step relieves the stress that is built up in the blade during forging and grinding. This stress may cause the blade to warp or crack when it is hardened. Hardening makes the blade very hard, but also very brittle. If you were to drop a hardened blade on a hard surface like concrete, it would break like glass. Tempering is always the final step of heat treating. The tempering process softens the blade just enough to prevent it from chipping while still retaining a hard edge. To normalize the blade, we heat it up to critical temperature and let it cool slowly in the air. Critical temperature is about 15 to 1600 degrees. When you have reached the critical temperature, a magnet will no longer stick to the blade. The normalizing process is repeated three times to make sure that the entire blade is free of stress. After each of the three heats, the blade should be allowed to cool down until there is no color visible. Here I'm stroking it back and forth through the forge to get an even heat along the entire blade. When I pull it out, I check it with the magnet and then quench it in the oil. Here I'm using what is called an edge quench. In the edge quench, you only harden about a third of the blade near the edge. This makes a much stronger blade, one that's less likely to break during use. In the oil, I have a block which I rock the edge back and forth on to make sure that I get an even quench depth. Never just assume that the blade has been properly hardened. Always test it with a file to make sure. If it is properly hardened, the file will skate right off without digging in. To temper the blade, I'm going to be using a toaster oven. I'm adding a fire brick to act as a heat sink. For this blade, I'm going to temper it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want the blade softer, then temper it to a higher temperature. Or if you want a harder blade, use a lower one. I'm tempering the blade with three two-hour cycles. After each two hours, let the blade cool off to room temperature, and then put it back in for another two hours. The next step is to grind off the scale from heat treating, and give it a quick edge. Here I'm running my thumbnail along the sharpened edge to feel if there are any nicks in it. After I test the blade, I will feel the edge again to see if there are any new nicks or gouges. It seems to be okay. I also test the blade by shaving small pieces on the copper pipe. Sand, you want to use a hard metal back, or you can use a piece of hardwood, because you want to sand a nice flat plane. And I will take it down until I get rid of all the marks from grinding. This is a job that will take a while. When the sandpaper gets dirty and clogged up, you want to switch it out. 